Hey everyone. Okay, so first, one thing I think this chapter did do well is showing the team dynamics of the characters by using using Yakuto as a focus point. Like, wh whether they knew it or not, fighting against Yakuto in his black dragon form really showcased, I think, their synergy as a team. Granted, there are still a few, obviously, rough patches that, 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 that does give the team dynamic room to grow throughout this, the rest of the series. But I think this chapter, more than anything, shows a starting point for the characters and how that how 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 they work off each other and even within that context you see the subgroup dynamics begin to form which characters work best off each other uh with that said though the big thing to talk about with this chapter is the end is the end where the mystery cat girl approaches Takuto with the possibility of joining forces to kill god now this just raises so many red flags, with the biggest question being the obvious, who the fuck is this girl? Like, really, it's like, who is this girl? And if I had to take the most the, the, the most obvious shot in the dark guess at this, I think, she, I think this girl is a servant of whoever the real god of this world is. Who's tr and, and this girl is either trying to free her master or help him regain his his power from from from, 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 from this, this this devil who's claiming who's who is claiming to be a false god now and honestly it would be even more it would honestly be even more interesting as well is if if, they, if we find out that this girl is actually an angel and who's who's disguised herself as a demon or something like it's it would I don't I don't know if like yeah I don't know how much like Mashima's gonna lean into the heaven hell dynamic here but it would be actually kind of Kind of a neat twist if we do find out that she is actually an angel. Um, but, oh, of course, we got to talk about what happened with Frey in this chapter. With her being forced to fight her sister and being the one who ultimately killed her. With the usual flashbacks in between. And I like how the resolution of this fight accomplishes two things. The first and, f first and most important thing for me is that it gives Frey purpose and motivation for, for wanting to help Yakuto kill God now. Like, her anger in itself is more focused on losing, but with the with the obvious con connection of being the one, one of the demon teachers, she, she's, she, she'll, be, she, she'll, find, she'll find purpose in allying with Yakuto now which, in order to kill Luzin, because it it is going to be the best way to... Be, 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 because just allying, like... The, 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 they pretty much both both Frey and both Frey and Yakuto now kind of have common cause in order to go after in order to team up and go after 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 who they want to kill, um, and and as as an aside, I also like how Frey de, de, Frey developing a dynamic of of trust with with Mikoto. This chapter does show that she that that Makoto is also going to be just as integral in helping Frey get her revenge as Yakuto is. Uh, the second thing, and the more ob obvious one, though, is that through her through through Frey's flashback, we see how Frey had spent so much of her life looking up to her sister that even in the present, despite gloating over and over that she's going to be stronger than her sister, who also attended the school, this reunion showed she, she was still very much that little kid who admired her sister from afar, and it wasn't until after she, she finally killed her killed her sister that, that Frey like took that very first important step towards actually becoming stronger than her. Like in an ironic twist, killing her sister is what forced Frey to kind of grow up and and realize, yeah, I I can be as strong as my sister. I I I just have I just have I just have to have to sever my connection with her in, in a weird way like like severing the connection she has with her sister is what helped Frey grow and become stronger. It's it's a nice kind of twist on it's a nice kind of twist on, on letting go of the past and and letting yourself become stronger for the future kind of thing. Um, with that said though, there are some interesting bits of information that char that certain characters let slip in this chapter. The first is from God where when he curious. When he curiously acknowledges Yakuto's form as a black dragon, which, yeah, kind of piles onto the idea that God did in fact destroy Yakuto's village to wipe out anyone who could potentially transform into a black dragon. The other one comes from both God and Lil God and Lilith, where God basically recites the sixth rule of the school that damage to any facilities is an act of rebellion, which is is then corroborated 
by, by, by both Lilith and 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 again the the, the the French cat girl who came to see see Yakuto, but but in Lilith's case, it's corroborated by Lilith when she when when we're seeing her torture Yakuto in the blood dungeon that. And she says, you can't destroy the building because Dead Rock is a part of God. And yeah, if we're if we're meant to take all these bits and pieces at face at face value and in, in, in literal face value, then that would mean God's life force is in some way tied to Dead Rock with Dead Rock itself. And if that's if so, then that's a pretty big weakness to let slip. Although with God having eyes and ears around every corner of the school, it is also kind of his biggest advantage because that means that there's only so many ways they can actually maneuver around the school without getting caught. Although with with with, with the mystery of Cat Girl joining the crew it, or teaming up with them, it will. I imagine it will. That there 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 are basically avenues and paths forward that, that they can take, and it's going to be up to how much that they, they can trust what she says and how much that they can trust each other in this little alliance. Now, I will say I have read ahead with the next chapter, and I will say there is one huge mistake Lilith has made in regards to, to what she does to Yukuto that is going to I think make sneaking around a little bit easier now. But I'll talk about that next. Talk about that next week. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm on Twitter, Analyst Crunchyroll. Be sure to notification bell, subscribe button, and just share everyone, guys. Dark Knight Renee signing off. Later, everyone.